Hello there, Jam Play World. My name is Michael Nomad Rapol, and I'm so glad to be joining you for this series on acoustic pop. And then a C add nine. But what does enhance? They're probably going to only use three of them. Last. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, we don't have to do that. The cooler they sound. Well, let's start with this. What is pop? When you say pop, Nomad, what do you mean? Well, okay, pop is a broad term, right? But what it means to me, and I think many people, it means that what's popular. So let's talk about popular music, popular songs. In my opinion, that is the broad term, okay? And let's dig deeper. Popular songs, popular music. Well. That means things that are popular yesteryear and today. For instance, I know some of you out there might really like the classic rock bands, right? Let's talk about some Led Zeppelin or Pink Floyd or uh, Jimi Hendrix, anything in that era, right? Then others of you might like some Jim Croce or James Taylor, you know, even John Denver. But then others, hmm, they might like, you know, Katy Perry or Pink or Madonna. Or how about Duran Duran, Eddie Van Halen? I mean, all this stuff, all these people, all these artists, Prince, it's all pop. Why? Because it's popular. It appeals to the masses. So when you have something that appeals to such a large group of people, we just group it as popular, hence pop. So I don't want to scare any one demographic away. If you think that, hey man, I'm not going to check this out because he's talking about Madonna and I don't like that stuff. I don't like Katy Perry. Well, don't worry. I guarantee you there's going to be plenty of other popular music that you're going to like that I'm going to cover in this series. And conversely, if you're one of those uh, people who just like what's current right now, oh, I'm only into Ariana Grande or, you know, so-and-so band or this band or the Foo Fighters or whatever, you know what? But I don't like the stuff from in the past. Well, then don't worry. Don't let that scare you away because I'm going to cover stuff that will handle and talk about all of the techniques and things that we use to play the current stuff. Let me give you this analogy. Think about it like this. Pizza. Who doesn't like pizza? Everybody loves pizza, right? I love pizza. Hey, you know, I'm an Italian from New York. I love my pizza. But I'm very specific on how I like it. I love the, uh, you know, New York style crust, the thin crust, and I love cheese and pepperoni. Occasionally, maybe some good Italian sausage. That's it. That's popular to me, and that's popular to a lot of other people. But then some other people might say, man, I gotta have my mushrooms and my onions. And me, I'm saying, oh, I don't want mushrooms and onions. I don't like that on my pizza. Or how about anchovies? Oh my goodness, yeah. That's probably less popular, but I'm sure there's a lot of people who like that. Okay, so just think of it like that. It is a popular, uh, popular term, a popular item, a popular music, if you will. But then it has its own little subdivisions within the larger group. Now that we've established what pop means, popular music, let's talk about the ingredients that make pop music tick. Well, one of the things is acoustic guitar. And how does the acoustic guitar fit into the whole grand scheme of things? You'd be surprised to know that the acoustic guitar is in almost every pop song, or at least a large majority of them. Whether, again, it's in the subgenres of uh, folky type stuff, or rock type stuff, or just straight, you know, more middle of the road type stuff, the acoustic guitar plays an integral role in almost all music. And we're gonna cover a lot of these techniques, and you'd be surprised how basic most of them are. Especially if you think about the beat and the rhythm. In popular music, definitely that is one key ingredient. It all has this steady groove, this pulse, this rhythm. And even if it's a ballad, you can still grab onto that movement. Even if it's a slow pulse, it's still there. It's still evident. From a ballad all the way up to a fast tempo song. Now what's really cool about the guitar and the acoustic guitar specifically, is that more times than not, people don't realize it is a very percussive instrument. Why is that? It's because we strike it. 
Think about that. If we're if we have an acoustic guitar, which means it's not, you know, typically it's not electrified by an amplifier or anything like that. You can just pick up an old, a regular old acoustic guitar and just start playing it and hear its natural organic sound. But when you play it, you have to strike it. So if you're striking it with a pick, or even if you're striking it with your fingers, there's still that action of striking, okay? That brings its percussive element. The essence of what makes acoustic guitar tick in popular music, to me, in my opinion, is this basic strumming movement, this action. And we're gonna talk about it, we're gonna cover it in depth. But it comes from whether you're right-handed or left-handed, it doesn't matter. It's with, with every hand that you decide to strum with, that's what dictates the pulse, okay? So you're strumming and you're moving the music along. Same thing with your fingers. When you create a little finger pattern and it's this circular motion that just keeps on rotating, it's the same concept. It propels the music forward. Now, in addition to those, you have strumming, finger picking. There's so many other techniques that we're gonna cover. And trust me, most of them are really simple and basic. It's just about breaking it down. And one of the things that I'm a big fan of is really isolating each component and taking the time to analyze how they work. Many of these ideas are implemented into pop music via the acoustic guitar in different forms. So sometimes it's gonna be based on a melodic phrase or a motif. Other times it'll be based on a repetitive rhythmic figure. But whichever it is, as long as you understand the basics of how to achieve that sound, you're gonna be good to go. So stick with me throughout this course and understand that I'm gonna use a lot of different references, both from the modern times of today and the classic artists and bands that we talked about earlier on. You'll be surprised to see that whether it's an artist or a band or a songwriter, performer from back then or today, that they share so many of the same ideas and they all come together through this beautiful instrument that we all know and love, the guitar, and more specifically, the acoustic guitar. Let's face it, it really is, a, I know this might sound a little cliche, man's best friend is the dog, right? I don't know, the, the acoustic guitar I think is a close second. I love my dog, but I also love my guitar. You can take it anywhere and it's a great icebreaker, you know, you can just immediately melt people's hearts or get them up and, and have a whole joyful vibe going. You can bring them down to experience all the different emotions of love and all these different kinds of things. Some of the obvious techniques are the strumming and finger picking, but there's a lot of other things that we're going to cover in this series that you might not be as well aware of. For instance, chords. You can play your basic open chords in the open position. But did you know, if you just switch some notes around in that same chord and play it on a different spot in the neck, it gives you a whole nother sound. These are known as inversions. We're gonna cover that. Also, think about finger picking and how I said earlier, it's a percussive instrument. Well, you can actually slap the guitar. And even in its most primitive form, if you just do a nice little that adds a really nice percussive element. Or think about harmonics. These are these little pretty embellishments that we can play just to add a little bit of extra sparkle on top of a passage or a phrase. All of these different techniques combined can be used to implement the acoustic guitar in just about any type of popular music situation. So pick up your favorite acoustic and join me in learning how the acoustic guitar plays such a prominent role in all of pop music no matter the genre or subgenre. My name is Michael Nomad Rapol, AKA Nomad, and I'm here on jamplay.com. Welcome, I'm so glad you joined us for this series.